World No Tobacco Day is observed around the world every year on 31 May. This yearly celebration informs the public on the dangers of using tobacco, the business practices of tobacco companies, what the World Health Organization is doing to fight against the use of tobacco, and what people around the world can do to claim their right to health and healthy living and to protect future generations. The member states of WHO created World No Tobacco Day in 1987 to draw global attention to the tobacco epidemic and the preventable death and diseases it causes. The day is further intended to draw attention to the widespread prevalence of tobacco use and to negative health effects which currently lead to more than 8 million deaths each year worldwide. including 1.2 million are the result of non smokers being exposed to second hand smoke the day has been met with both enthusiasm and resistance around the globe from governments public health organizations smokers and tobacco industries thank you World No Tobacco Day is observed around the world every year on 31st May. This yearly celebration informs the public on the dangers of using tobacco, the business practices of tobacco companies, what the World Health Organization is doing to fight against the use of tobacco, and what the people around the world can do is to claim their right to health and healthy living and to protect future generations. The member state of WHO created World No Tobacco Day in 1987 to draw global attention to the tobacco epidemic and the preventable health and diseases it causes. The day is further intended to draw attention to the widespread prevalence of tobacco use and to the negative health effects which currently leading to more than 8 million deaths each year. including 1.2 million are the result of non smokers being exposed to the second hand smoke the day has been met with both enthusiasm and resistance around the globe from governments public health organization smokers growers and the tobacco industry the saying goes like that quitters never win but the case of tobacco quitters are the real winners When the news came out that smokers are more likely to develop severe disease with COVID-19 compared to non-smokers, it has triggered millions of smokers to want to quit tobacco. But without adequate support, quitting can be incredibly challenging. A saying like that, every time you light up a cigarette, you are saying that your life isn't worth living. So I would like to request all of you to take the anti-tobacco pledge. on this great day that is i promise not to smoke or use any tobacco products now and forever i will do my best to encourage people who do smoke or use tobacco products to quit smoking and use of tobacco products and will do my best to support them as they try to quit